Hello, this is Jon Koborup from EMD. In this tutorial, I will talk about the transmission line exporter, which is this uh, tool here in the SketchUp integration tool. And um, what it does, it uh, can connect uh, transmission masts with the uh, cables or transmission lines and also connect them to substations or, or whatever. So um, I have prepared uh, already a project here. I have created a PV area and I have opened the SketchUp integration tool from this button and opened from in here the SketchUp uh, program and lined it up next to WinPro so you can see that uh, uh, what is going on. And now since I opened it from inside this tool, they are now communicating. So uh, I am ready to uh, start the demonstration. And uh, my plan is to show here um, some transmission masts that I'm going to add here and connect them with wires uh, and uh, to show them on uh, my photomontage that is uh, ready here. And you can see I already rendered the PV panels um, and so uh, if I put the transmission mast up here they should show up here in, in the photo. And also I would uh, add here in uh, this area a substation uh, that I will also connect to the transmission masts. So um, you can see uh, I have already uh, exported here from SketchUp the surface, a PV plant and a photomontage. So that is what you can see over here. So I can as well now see in uh, SketchUp this uh, PV plant here, just like uh, I can see it in uh, in the foot in the photomontage here in WinPro. So good. First, I will add the transmission masts, and I will use the 3D object for that, and I will put them in here in more or less random places. It is not so important. It is just to show you how to do it and I select a, a 3D object of a transmission tower. And here I go and select in the library this uh, file. And this is not so important in this case. And then I'll just add five in a row and I'll add them with a distance of 300 meters. So uh, here we can see it came in to the model like this. If I turn on the simple layer, I can see uh, where it comes in the photomontage. I'll just try to rotate this a little bit. So I think this will be fine. And um, if I zoom in again, you can see that the model is uh, orientated a little wrong. It points north and I like them to point to the next transmission tower. So I'll just do like this. Now I will split the row. So now I have uh, them as, as individual uh, objects out here. So uh, I want to place a substation in this place. So this uh, object here, I will just turn it a little bit so it's facing partly this object and the substation that is uh, I will put in here. So uh, the substation I will create in uh, SketchUp and import to uh, Photo montage, uh, WinPro uh, afterwards. So I already have a, a model of a substation created in another SketchUp file. So I'll just drag it in here. And I will just move it a little bit around, but uh, all in all, it's just a random position. So I can uh, demonstrate for you how it works. Good, and then I will 
import it into WinPro by selecting it and using this uh, export to uh, WinPro tool. And here it is. So now I got all the, the objects I want, uh, the masts and the substation, and you can see them here in, uh, in, in the photomontage window also as uh, uh, symbols. But um, there's no transmission lines between them. So that's uh, the next step. So I'll go into the SketchUp uh, exporter and then I will uh, create uh, an exporter for transmission lines. So now I will first add all the uh, visible 3D objects and it says it, it has added six of them, which is what I have down here. And now you can see uh, the objects down here is connected with lines uh, according to the order in this list. So you can see that trans the substation is connected to the last one in, in the list. And I don't want that. I want it to be connected to the first one in the list. So I'll just drag it up here. And you can see now the, the line has changed. So it's connected to the first one. So now um, the exporter knows uh, the order they, the object should be connected with. So the next step is to tell uh, the exporter how uh, these objects should be connected with each other, how many lines and uh, where to attach them to the objects. So then I'll just go into uh, this edit anchor points uh, to define this. So in this um, form you see an image of the 3D model and you can see it from the front and you can see it from the top. And uh, I want to see it from the front. And here now I can, by right clicking on the image, I can specify where the transmission lines uh, should be attached, the anchor points. So I'll select one here and I'll do that for all the places I want to uh, attach a transmission line. And you can see out here to the right, uh, it's uh, listing the properties of each connection point. And for the last uh, two ones, uh, number seven and eight, I want them to be uh, a little bit uh, smaller than uh, the other ones in diameter. So I'll just say uh, 40 and the color is uh, fine. So, so I'll just have a look uh, how it looks from the top. And here you can see they are placed in the center, so it looks uh, all right. If I select the, the next one here, you can see that it is actually um, already well defined. I, I, I don't like the position of this one. But the reason why they are already connected for the next one is because they are based on the exact same uh, model. So. WinPro uh, remembers uh, that we already set the anchor points for this specific model. So you can see this looks fine. So, um, but the substation, which is this one, is uh, not defined because that's not the same model. So I have to do it again for this uh, substation. So this is a little more confusing. You can see that um, it is rotated a little bit. So it's the this front view of the model looks a bit messy, but if I look from the top, it's a little easier to uh, see what is uh, going on. I can use the scroll on the mouse to zoom in and out, and I can drag uh, the image around like this. So now I can uh, see more clearly where to add the points. So now I just go ahead and specify where the line should be attached to this model. So uh, line number one is going from this point to uh, line number one in the next uh, 3D object in the list and so forth. And um, number seven and eight I will not define. So uh, there will not be a transmission line uh, going from the la uh, from uh, the transmission tower to the substation from number seven and eight um, 
I will just omit that. But here you can see uh, in the front view that they are all placed in the center of the model, which is not where I want them. I want them to be up here. Um, I'm dragging the, the point up like this. And then I'm just uh, copy pasting this uh, value to the next one. So that's a little fast, then dragging them all, and then they will all be in the exact same set value. So now it's uh, in the correct positions, and I'll say OK, and I'll say OK once. Uh, just before I do that, I will remove this checkbox, because um, this is exporting uh, the 3D objects here and the lines to SketchUp, and I already have this uh, substation in SketchUp, so I don't want the model uh, to be uh, duplicated in SketchUp when I export it. And also, I'll, I'll just uh, change this maximum bent value, which is how much uh, the transmission lines go down. And that is because I don't want them to go down into the ground when they're going down to this very low substation uh, from this um, transmission tower here. So uh, this you can use uh, uh, trial and error to find uh, a, a reasonable value to use. And I tried this before, and I know that four works fine. So I'll just say OK. And now um, I can run the exporter. And if I uh, didn't want to really work or do anything in SketchUp, I could just press the re-import uh, to WinPro after export and then running the exporter, then it would create the transmission lines in WinPro, and uh, and also actually the, a, a copy of each of the transmission towers because I um, it is re-importing immediately whatever I'm exporting to to SketchUp. But now I don't want to do that. Uh, I will manually uh, re-import uh, the transmission lines uh, afterwards, so you can see how that is done. So now I'm just going to run uh, the transmission lines exporter. And here you can see that it has uh, exported all the 3D uh, transmission tower masts and uh, the line, the transmission lines, not uh, the substation, it was already there. So it's, it's done exactly what I asked it to do. And uh, now I can actually see here on the, on the photo here in, in SketchUp how it will uh, look. And um, yeah, SketchUp is behaving a bit strange. Okay. Um, and also, I can bring uh, the transmission lines back into WinPro. I could have done it using this one when I exported it. But now I'll just do it manually. Uh, so I'll deselect uh, background map and the TV panels so I can easily uh, uh, select. Uh, the, the transmission lines that I want to re-import uh, in WinPro. So now I select just uh, not the, the substation, but I will then deselect the towers because I have them in WinPro already. So I'm missing this one. So now I can run the exporter from SketchUp. And here you have it. So now the transmission lines has uh, occurred here in WinPro, and you can see it has added yet another object uh, in uh, WinPro, and uh, they should also be visible here as uh, in in the symbol layer here in WinPro. So now I'll just try and, and render it and see how it looks. So here we go, and we can see how the look in WinPro, the line
lines are connecting down to the substation. You can see that point number seven and eight is not connected to the substation because I didn't uh, specify where they should be connected. Um, you can see the top line up here is slightly thinner than the other lines and all in all it looks uh, quite realistic. You can, you can modify the maximum bend uh, by setting a manual value instead of the automatic value here uh, also as you saw in the user interface. So um, that is the way to do that. And one thing I didn't quite explain is that you could actually uh, specify uh, or create the, the transmission masks here in SketchUp and, um, and then export them back to WinPro instead of creating them uh, from a 3D object. Uh, then of course they would be 3D objects if I, for instance, export uh, this one back. Um, but if I do that uh, from, from SketchUp like that, then you should export them one at a time, then it would work just as well. But, uh, but not like this, two at the, at the time, because then there would be one object and that would uh, not work uh, here. And uh, also, um, but if you do it if, one at a time, then these two objects would be different objects. And then you would have to, in this uh, user interface, go and edit the anchor points for each and every one of them you import. So it's better just to import one and then uh, create a, a, a row and split the row or something like that, um, then uh, copying individual objects back from uh, SketchUp. Also, you should be aware that um, Earth curvature correction in WinPro is not working very well if you have huge uh, 3D objects covering uh, many kilometers. So if your transmission lines uh, ends up uh, covering a very large uh, area, then you should try to split it up into two more objects um, instead of just one. <clears throat> yes, so uh, I think that was about it. Um, I, will, um, uh, I will encourage you to subscribe for our YouTube channel so you will get notified when we create new videos. Um, Except for that, just thanks for watching and goodbye.